What's up guys, today we have a 2004 Kia Sedona. We're going to be replacing the rear struts. That one right there, as you can see, it's really messed up. So stay tuned and let's get to work. All right, first thing we have to do is use a jack. Then don't forget to use jack stands for safety. Then remove tires. Then we go from there. All right, tire is removed. We put jack stands. Now we're gonna go over here. Let me zoom in a little bit right there. Okay, so those are the four bolts we have to remove. We're going to remove them using a 17 millimeter socket. This is what I'm going to be using, a long ratchet so I can have leverage so I can take it out so let's we'll put it right here you can use a breaker bar if it's too hard so let's see if I can do it <clears throat> okay okay we got that one let's do the other one all right we got that one let's do this bottom one right there now with the top right one I'm going to be using an extension right there all right All right, if we go all the way down on the strut, we're gonna notice there's another bolt right there. We're gonna remove it using a 17 millimeter socket as well. All right, now we can pull the strut out. Simple as that. Ouch. All right, check it out. Look at how messed up it is. Wow. All right, we have to remove these two nuts right here. So using two 17 millimeter wrenches, we can put this right here. And this one right here. And the floor is gonna help us take out the nut. Be careful. There. Okay, now we still have to remove this knot right here. I'm going to put this right here. And I'm going to be using the same method. Hopefully it works. Yeah. All right, there you go. All right, now we can take our strut and we can cut this part out. This is going to, let me cut it. This is going to make our strut <laughs> expand. <laughs> All right, so make sure you cut all of this out and let me show you. Oops, let me cut this out. There you go. All right, now take your strut. You can already remove this part right here. Remove the knot, this part, and the bushing. Now put this part right here. The bushing back, this part, 
Right, not, right here, you gotta push down real hard. And then, you know, tie this knot very hard. Okay, right there. All right, now you can get your strut. Let's put it around here. And we can start by putting this first one right here. Okay, once you put that one up there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna push the strut in so we can put it right here inside. That's what she said. Now we can start putting the other bolts in. Now don't forget about this one right here. <clears throat> right there. All right, everything looks perfect. Everything is really tight. Everything looks good. Now, if you're going to do the other side on the passenger side, it's basically the same thing. So just follow the same instructions. I'm going to finish the, the one on the other side, put the tires back on, remove the jack, jack stands, and I'm gonna see if it's still bouncing. All right, I already finished replacing both sides. Everything looks nice and sturdy. Now let me push the car down and see. Perfect, no more sound. And it doesn't bounce too much like before. All right, guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoy content like this one or if this video helped you in any way, please consider subscribing. Uh, let me know down below in the comments if it helped you. Uh, and I'm, I'll be posting a link down below in the description of this, of this video if you want to buy the, the struts. And all right, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you in my next video. As always, peace.